For practice it, exercise 3.13 pay, we're asked to write a method named pay. So it'll be public static. For now, we'll call it void pay. And it accepts a real number for a TA's salary. So this will be a double, and we'll call this salary. And an integer for the number of hours the TA worked this week. So we will have ints, and we'll call it hours. Then we need to account for overtime, which will be one and a half times the normal salary for any hours above eight. Well, since we're given a condition here, we need to use an if statement. And in our if statement, we'll have if and then hours, because it's asking for any hours above eight. So if hours is greater than eight, we are going to execute the code that is in these brackets. So if hours is above eight, we are going to return the salary times eight. So this is the normal salary. And now we need to add the overtime part. So what we can do here is have our salary it says the overtime pay is one and a half times the normal salary. One and a half is three over two, so we can multiply this by three over two. And then after we do this right here, we can multiply it by our hours. However, we aren't multiplying it by our total hours. We're multiplying it by our hours minus eight because it has to be anything above eight. So this is gonna be times hours minus eight to get rid of the eight hours. Next, we have an else statement, and this is if our hours are less than 8. So we will just have, um, actually an else statement doesn't have any parameters, so no parentheses. And in here we'll have return salary times hours. If we submit this, um, we need a semicolon here to end our code. And also, we are we need we never change this from void um, since it's returning a double. This needs to be double. Should have changed that earlier, but if we fix it now, we have passed all six of the test. So that means this is the correct code for the problem.